Well, 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 friends, what have we here? Other than Eric's awesome Buick, huh, huh? This right here. Eric, what do you think? We think we should take this guy home? I think so, he looks shiny. Oh yeah, this poor little guy needs a little love. Sitting here in the weeds. Oh, she got a dinger. That's okay. Keys in her. I hear dings. She got life. Oh, she's a runner. She's a runner. Yeah, let's pull this thing out. We got plans for this. What? Look at this thing. Sounds like a tractor, I'll tell you that much. All right, now for reasons that we'll go over later, this thing can't be driven all the way home, but we're sneaking it out to the main road where we have Ruby waiting with an awful, awful, awful U-line car top dolly. Uh, I'd never towed one of those before. It is the most obnoxious thing in the world to tow when it is, uh, doesn't have a car on it. Got a little check engine light there. I'm not afraid of that guy. Man, <laughs> the things that make it not drivable are really very apparent now that I'm off-road. <laughs> All right, let's get this bad boy loaded. This thing is so awful to tell, dude. <laughs> it's just so loud. That doesn't really inspire faith. A big hole in it, but oh well. Straight, straight on. Give it to me! Give it to me! Holy Albert! We're doing take two because, uh, wasn't super on center the first time. Straight up to that way a little bit. Straight now, you're perfect. Bring it, you got it, just go. You're good. Oh man, was that shaking the boat. I cannot express how much I don't want to lose a WJ on the side of the road tonight. Mine or this one. Thank you. The key to happiness has four letters on it. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Transmission in neutral, transfer case in neutral, um, and steering wheel lock disengaged. That's how you tow a Jeep. This Jeep, anyway. It's a little dirty inside, I won't lie, but maybe that won't matter for our purposes. We're gonna find out. All right, so we're gonna get underway. Uh, Eric is gonna run blocker in the Buick, and by blocker, I'm... <laughs> Runaway train. <laughs> I don't know, man. I hope the Buick doesn't have to take one to save uh, the humanity from the WJ gang over here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, it should be noted that as Eric got in, the mirror fell off, but did not break. So I'm going to take that as good luck, not bad luck. Yes? All right, I want to start. Stop uh, yanking chains. Let's get out of here and get moving. Look at Ruby go. Just cruising. I will say there was one moment where I nearly pooed myself, folks. Doug hit um, like a like a sewer grate and it dipped down real hard. Th that back Jeep pitched so quickly, I thought we lost it. That thought was gonna roll towards me and I thought we were done. Done like a dinner. But we managed to get it home. We're in the final stretch now, which of course Doug lives at the top of a hill. So he's just taking it nice and easy. Also, on a side note, Doug also thought he went the wrong way down a one-way street, which was quite hilarious. I don't know if you guys can see what my rearview mirror view is. Pretty, pretty odd seeing a WJ <laughs> climbing in your back seat there, but uh, super fulfilling. We've been on the road for 26 minutes. Uh, Eric and I have been on the phones doing the walkie-talkie thing. He's letting me know that everything looks good. So far, one moment where we were relatively sure we were losing both WJs, but uh, that quickly righted itself. We're another, I don't know, five minutes from the homestead. We'll check back in there. Well, there you freaking go. I know that by the numbers, this was supposed to work. I mean, this Jeep had the tow cap. The thing is rated for the enough weight and everything, but it just didn't seem like the kind of thing that would work for two monkeys with a toolbox. Now that we're out of the air, uh, let's, let's turn off Ruby and Eric and I'll give you a little bit of the walk around before we pull it in the house there. Okay, and I did the whole thing with a check engine light. I've got a uh, efficiency issue on my catalytic uh, whatever, whatever. The key should be in there. Like in the, in the, I had to leave the steering wheel unlocked. They say to do that so you don't go over a bump and kill it. Oh, you thought we left the key there? 
<laughs> All right. The guy only gave us one key. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? All right, so quick background. She's a runner. She's an 04 tow package. That means it's got the uh, factory bump hair with the good cutout. I'd love to steal that for Ruby, but I don't know if it's worth the time and effort. It also has the dual fan, mech fan and the um, uh, uh, E-fan. All right, uh, I guess that means that it have coolers up here. I didn't even look before. Weird, you'd think it'd have like a power steering or a trans cooler. It does not. It does have the 373 gears. 373 gearing. Um, it took a digger here, went all down the side, crunched up the door, rode all the way down, screwed this side up. Now, the reason we got it so cheap, and I'm not gonna talk numbers, but we did get it stupid cheap, which is why we did all this, is because of this right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. The spring, the uh, sway bar mount popped free and the spring is sitting outside the perch. It's all mangled. So we're trying to figure out exactly what happened, but I guess this wheel took a ding and it just pushed it or something. I don't know. She hit a mail truck. She hit a mail truck. Yeah. <laughs> I did ask the guy, yeah, he's saying, real the mail truck. Um, so here's what we want to do. He just put new shocks in it. I'm stealing those for Ruby, assuming they're not messed up from the accident. I don't think they are. It's got a 242. I'm swapping that with Ruby's. Ruby's getting the uh, 242. We'll put the 247 in this. And that's really all it needs. We're obviously going to get the cosmetic stuff, bumper, this, this, door. Oh, we're going to put the spring back on it. Well, yeah. We're going to get, yeah I, yeah, I showed him that. We're going to get a whole new axle at the junkyard. And then um, the... Uh, well, let's just put it this way. What, what's what's the name you gave it, Eric? Oh, what, what did I call it today? Oh. Old Blue Flipperoo. Old Blue Flipperoo. That's, so that's, that's going to be the name for this heap. Um, if I didn't know any better, like, did they, you think they painted, revitalized? These look brand new. I think they must have died. You know that dying process? You can bring them yeah. back to life. They didn't do the front? <laughs> so I guess not. <laughs> it's got some weird stuff. I noticed this. I don't know if this is from the act. I guess at one point this must have fallen. You know, Willie's is like that too. Um, I, I want to take the rims because I friggin' hate those rims. I want to just swap the rims, but I'm not certain they're going to be straight. Logically, if the axle got pushed over enough for that to happen, oh, you know what could have happened though? The body got pushed. That's what I'm thinking. The body got pushed. I, I think if you look, you're probably going to see the, the sway bar bent. You think the other one's bent? Actually, that one's pretty straight. I'm thinking the body got pushed and the tires being rubber stayed where they were. I'm hoping, man, I really want these rims. Uh, they're not my favorite rims. These are the ones that are on Willie. My favorite ones are the ones that are on my uh, 2002. The, I don't remember what they're called. The uh, Silver Star 2s, I think, but. The interior leaves a little bit to be desired, but it's not the end of the road. Oh yeah, this door barely opens. Let's see though. Not terrible. Mountain Dew fan, of course. Nothing but the finest. Are those jelly beans? I hope those are jelly beans. <laughs> what is that? It's yeah, some kind of sticky candy. They look like giant ticks for a minute. <laughs> or something. Uh, also, I'm probably stealing these out of it because Ruby did not come with a jack or jack tools. I have a Subaru scissor jack in there. Uh, other than that, it's got a pretty significant exhaust leak and a pretty significant evap leak. Uh, and it's it. it's got the classic uh, New Jersey WJ. Uh, it's, it's getting towards the WJ tank skid delete that New Jersey likes to do to its Jeeps. Uh, Eric's gonna show you here, buddy. Big man, is small, tight squeeze. All right, guys, you can see that right there. Literally, the hose just split and fell off. Um, I happened to be when we had it running when we were loading it. I was like, oh, I hear a hissing noise, so I just got underneath it. And you can put your finger on it. That's how loud it is, and it just shuts up. So right there, that's the easy evap leak. Um, the check engine lights on for that, so that would be a quick and dirty fix. And you know what I just saw? What? I don't know when this accident happened, but it's been out of uh, inspection for quite a while. I'm uh. wondering if that evap leak is why. I didn't even bother scanning it. That's how good the price was. I was like, screw it. Worst case scenario. <laughs> yeah, I saw the light, and I was like, I don't really even care. It started. It runs fine. Uh, I was like, this angle looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was like, I, if I can get the rims and the uh, transfer case, it'll be worth it. Worst case, we'll part her out. Let's, uh, let's try to get this thing off the dangled trailer and uh, up into my garage. I'm really... We drove it, you guys saw, I'm out of the guy's property and down the road to this trailer, so I'm hoping we can make it up the driveway. That's the plan.
Alrighty friends, so there it is, our new Jeep project. We don't know exactly what we're gonna do with it. I am taking the transfer case, so that transfer case swap video that you guys have been asking us for for years uh, is coming. I'm gonna show you how to pull the transfer case out of this, pull it out of Ruby, we're gonna swap the input shafts, <laughs> Put them back. Hopefully, have everything it's running at the end of it. Hard out, flop out, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, <laughs> uh, hopefully, get the rims. Maybe do some other stuff. It's not certain if it's going to stay in the family or if it's going to go back out in the world. It is a pretty, pretty WJ. When you get over the little damage over there, it'd be a shame for D and E to ruin it. So, uh, <laughs> we will let you know. <laughs> By all means, uh, comments down in the squawk boxes what you think about uh, this particular WJ. What you'd like to see done with it. And uh, I don't know, man. Just let me know what you think about WJs. I'm so happy to have three WJs at my He's house right now. Gleaming with joy right now. I love WJs, man. Anyone has to ask a question where we found the deal? Facebook, man. I troll mm -hmm. Facebook he like really crazy. Does. I send him deals all day long. <laughs> <laughs> That's my bad. I have my finger on the button. <laughs> But yeah, you, you, you just gotta troll guys. You gotta be really quick to just first be that. trolls. That's DNA's advice for y'all today. I am a freaking bridge troll. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, this was just a quick one. As always, thanks for watching. Mm. Actually, it was not a quick one. This has been a long, epic saga. Yeah. Finding the Jeep, meeting the guy twice, giving him the money, going to get a dolly, towing it all the way home. And he lives on this small, small back road. It's, it's insane. Well, you guys saw a little yeah. bit of the road. Anyway, all right, we're gonna leave now. Yeah, right, now I'm gonna actually close the door. Yeah. I came down here to uh, grab the camera so I could start editing, and I noticed, look at this, man. On a, what is it? Uh, I don't know, man. 15, 16 year old vehicle. The, the chrome on the letters isn't even peeling. That's always peeling. Is it like that on the doors? Yeah, man, this Jeep was so well taken care of. I know it's low light, you can't see over here, but that's crazy. You never see a Jeep that looks that nice. You can even see some wax around it, so. Yeah, man, this thing was so well taken care of until, uh, USPS intervened. That is all.